screw you all, I'm, I'm just eating vegan. I'm eating vegan, I will be cured. Well, I told him if he ate bananas, he wouldn't get cancer. And guess what? He ate burger, he's got cancer. I was right, I was right. Anything that makes you want to punch a vegan in the face, I think this quote has to be, has to be it. Just, what an arsehole, what? <laughs> This is a guy that's trying to promote his ideology by being that much of a cunt. I just got a message in one of my last videos to go do a reaction video to um, Vegan Gains regarding Furious Pete has cancer again. Um, so I haven't watched this. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know what my reaction is going to be at the moment. Um, if any of you don't know, Furious Pete is a guy uh, who's a pretty awesome uh, weightlifter slash competitive eater. Um, and uh, he does some crazy stunts of like, eating as much as you can of hot dogs and then other stuff and at the same time he does some serious um, serious weights with his squats, his deadlifts, his uh, bodybuilding kind of stuff uh, and he documents it all, massive following um, and seems like a fairly uh, down-to-earth kind of guy and been very successful with what he's done um, and all that kind of stuff. Recently he caught, caught, I don't know how right, right word, but uh, he developed uh, testicular cancer, had to get one of those removed, and with all the um, treatment that he got, uh, it seemed to have all totally gone well. Um, whenever you do have cancer, it's usually considered it's always in uh, remission, even if you have had it removed, because the cancer kind of cells, or the, the um, tags of cancer are still within your body. In fact, all of us get cancer uh, seven times a year, is what has been claimed. Um, cancer is just a natural thing that happens in your body which uh, hopefully what happens is that our immune system attacks any cancerous cells before they spread into a tumour. Um, cancerous cells are effectively just cells which have gone a bit AWOL and are um, reproducing aggressively. Um, and if they reproduce aggressively and end up going into parts of your body which um, can't fight it very well, like into your uh, liver or something like that, and it grows into tumour, it destroys the, the natural cells. They're in there and they can spread out so they just become cancer cells rather than being liver cells and all kind of stuff. Um, and there, there's ways of, of dealing with it. Whenever it is a tumour, um, you, uh, you can get it removed. They usually require um, uh, radiotherapy and removal. There's also chemotherapy where they give you the drugs which attack uh, your cancer cells or f uh, rapidly developing cells which can also be damaging for your immune system. So chemotherapy and radiotherapy, if it's not directed very well, can be uh, very damaging in general to the body but the idea is that it's super damaging to the cancer cells uh, more. So the idea is to kill the cancer before it kills, uh, or before the cancer kills you and before uh, you kind of suffer too much from the actual treatment. So in, in, in a lot of cases, dealing with cancer, the treatment is dangerous, but no treatment is death. <laughs> so you kind of go, right, I've got to work with this. So he had uh, he has some stuff done, and it seemed to be all in the clear. However, it seems that it's come back. Um, I haven't followed it exactly. All he said that he's been going for tests, um, so I don't know whether it's spread somewhere else or anything like that. However, Let's hear what a, a compassionate, ethical, moral um, vegan would have to say about this. Um, from my own point of view, uh, what would I be saying? I would be saying um, commiserations. Um, it, it wouldn't, I don't think I would be uh, trying to give advice. What I did actually see, I saw on his video the amount of fucking nonsense from people giving fucking snake oil advice. Um, just streams and streams of pesh, it was unreal. And, and it really kind of, reading through the comments makes you kind of think, if you, if you do ever develop an illness or a cancer, don't tell people on the internet, uh, because you just get fucking tin hat bullshit everywhere. Um, and and I, I mean that with as much passion as what I'm saying, because people say, oh, I should go into a hyperbaric chamber and you should only eat eggs or some nonsense like that. And then another one, a lot of people say, oh, don't trust the doctors, they'll just fleece you for all your money. You just kind of go, oh, I say, oh, you should do your own research. If you Google something, something, you'll find that there's this certain oil that you can put, there's one where you can get a cream that you rub on an area where you might have a tumour and it just burns into your, your body. And they're saying, oh yeah, I cured myself of skin cancer with this thing. 
I now have a hole in my face because I've burnt my skin. There's just, just like, as a layman of medical science, as not being up to date with all the current medical research or understanding of medical uh, medicines and therapies and all that kind of stuff, I would rather put my trust into medical professionals that have spent years studying and researching and treating um, serious illnesses rather than going on the internet and going, well, a vegan told me that they ate bananas and their terminal brain cancer was cured. So uh, I'm not going to take radiotherapy or, or chemotherapy. I'm just going to have bananas and, you know, terminal brain cancer. I'm going to fix it. Just, just, ah, oh, I, I really, I really hope there aren't idiots out there that take the advice. I've said this in a previous video. Don't take advice from YouTubes, from YouTubers, YouTubians. Um, because there are professionals out there who know what they're talking about. And, and the, there'll be people that will say, oh, oh they'll, they'll fleece you for all your money and all that kind of stuff. It's like, do you know how expensive it is to get into the medical profession? Do you know how much their services are in demand? Do you know how difficult it is to do the thing? Like, they say, oh, the pharmaceutical companies are just taking everyone's money. Do you realize it takes multiple billions, and I'm talking billions of dollars to make vaccines, to make an, uh, anti, not antibodies, anti, antibiotics uh, and stuff like that. that it, it costs literally billions to get it through all the stages of all that stuff. That, that for them to be able to keep on researching and keep on developing new and advancing uh, medicines, they require the investment back, which means that a lot of time the medicines cost an absolute bloody fortune to actually make. So whenever, whenever they say, oh yeah, well, this cancer drug costs a million pounds. Oh, they're just trying to fleece you for all the money. It's like, yes, but there is a cancer drug there. How about you use it? And say, oh, it's only like 15% successful. And do you know what's 100% not successful? Not taking it. So 15%, a lot of people, oh, okay, anyway, going to rant there. Okay, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm ranting before we've even got into what uh, this this ethical vegan, you know, oh, we're all, we're all meant to like love and care for the animals, but oh, this, uh, let's just see, let's just see where this goes. Did any of you hear the horrible news? Furious Pete got cancer again. So after Freely the Banana Girl made a video about the first time Furious Pete got cancer and how it could have potentially been prevented and treated through diet, Furious Pete decided... A potentially tre uh, prevented and treated through diet. I, I like that claim. Potentially prevented. Uh, that, that, that's a possibility. We could definitely, generally through our diet, we can uh, keep our immune system as boosted as it possibly can. However, there are, <laughs> there are many ways where no matter how strong our immune system is, it's not going to defeat certain types of tumours or cancers and all that kind of stuff. So... It can help some cancers, it can help some diseases, or uh, be able to fight certain diseases, but it doesn't, it's, it's not like, well, vegan cures everything. You're an idiot for not being vegan. It's not actually that. There, there's not, there, there's help, but it doesn't necessarily mean uh, causation is not the same as correlation. I did to file a fallacious copyright claim to prevent anyone from learning that cancer is a preventable illness that is caused by animal products and can be... Ah, no. Okay, cancer is a preventable illness caused by animal products. Okay, let's go to uh, some of the other research on here. Uh, what's what's the, the famous one? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Uh, there's another uh, pro-vegan out there who is a... Is it Dr... Um, who's the guy that does potatoes? He's like, oh, I just eat potatoes. Starch. The starch solution, the starch diet, wherever it is. That guy. He, there's a big, long video uh, of him online talking about why Steve Jobs died. Um, and it's going all, and it goes all the way back to the fact that Steve Jobs was soldering chemicals to make his first computer at the age of 19. And from the chemicals that he breathed in while making computer components at that time, started a tumor growing, and that tumor grows at a very slow pace until he's dead at 50. So. Do Doctor, what's his name? Gregor? It wasn't Gregor. It was 
John McDougall, that's who I'm looking for. John McDougall, um, yeah, he's done a 14 minute presentation here and he's talking about the doubling of time, the growth of tumors, blah, blah, blah. It says everyone. I mean, everyone. And Steve, and Steve Jobs himself went full vegan, full raw vegan, full water fasting and all that kind of stuff to try and actually uh, defeat his cancer. But and then, oh, uh, just, oh, causes of uh, Jobs' cancer, lead poisoning, lead poisoning. So let, let's go straight back to, um, it's, all cancers seem to be not definitely caused by animal products. Let's, let's make that clear here. He treated through a whole foods vegan diet because imagine treated treated with a whole foods vegan diet. I would say it's it's uh, I would probably rather go with what adapt. I would say that's something complementary to actual medical treatment. A diet should be a great way to complement your medical treatment. However, I would still go with whatever actual practical medicines and interventions that uh. uh, uh hospital or a doctor can provide and supplement that or support that with my diet. But not to say, screw you all, I'm, I'm just eating vegan. I'm eating vegan, I will be cured. No, that's not the best advice to say that. How horrible that would be if people could just go on YouTube and present medical facts as to why animal products are harmful to our own health along with being unethical and cruel? Well, Pete and his dumb bitch girlfriend don't seem to like that idea, but fortunately, Freely's video is still up on her channel. But after several months, Pete decided to file a fallacious copyright claim against me because, in Pete's mind, torturing and killing animals is okay, but educating people to the fact that eating animals is both unhealthy and cruel just isn't acceptable. But fortunately for all of us, but not Pete, it doesn't matter if you disagree with science because science will always be correct. And it seems I was correct because Pete got cancer again. Oh, so sad. There, there, as a promoter of a vegan lifestyle, uh, veganism, I am really disappointed with the asshole attitudes and the self-righteous bigotry that comes from people hating on other humans, other people who are possibly in a horrendous situation and it, it's victim blaming here is what's going on and I, it's just, I don't want to be associated with utter dicks like this. And, uh, and just this such self-righteous bullshit of going, well, I told him if he ate bananas, he wouldn't get cancer. And guess what? He ate burger. He's got cancer. I was right. I was right. Oh, it, it's, it's, um, it's not helpful. It's not helpful for promoting our ideas. Uh, the, the, the goodness and of it. And before you all start calling me a sociopath as some sort of attempt to insult me, how about you consider the fact that Furious Pete makes fun of the suffering and death of the animals he eats on a daily basis? So, I don't see why I should make a joke about his suffering and death. So who would like it? You've got to kind of... If you want other humans to join your parade, you've got to get other humans on your side. And being a dick to a human which lots of people appreciate or are entertained by or follow or subscribe to, being a dick about that person doesn't really motivate other people to join you. So sociopath actually is, is you don't seem to have the right way of thinking about it here. Hey, ha ha, you're gonna die of cancer t-shirt. Yeah, so basically the vast majority of the medical literature demonstrates that animal products cause cancer, but Pete decided to keep eating meat, dairy and eggs and- Ah, okay, the vast amount of medical research out there shows that meat products cause cancer. There's research which shows everything causes cancer. Hold on, hold on. Doesn't everything cause cancer? Perfect example here. D News did a whole episode on does breathing cause cancer? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually it does. Yes, it does. So, um, to say animal products are the only cause of cancer, again, just breathing air can cause cancer. So just get off your high fucking horse. It's unreal. Anyway, 
Maybe he forgot about all that because he blocked my video worldwide. So let me just refresh your memory, Pete. Pete has the opinion that a vegan diet has little to no protective effect against cancer risk, but Pete's opinion doesn't really count for shit. Vegans have the lowest IGF-1 levels of any diet group, which lowers our cancer risk. Vegans eat the lowest amount of sulfur-containing amino acids, including methionine, which again, lowers our cancer risk. Vegans have diets low in branched-chain amino acids, including leucine, which slows down the mammalian target of rapamycin pathway, which not only slows down aging, but also stops cancer cell growth. Vegans don't eat cooked meat, which contains carcinogens, known as heterocyclic aromatic amines. Vegans don't eat any heme iron, which again, lowers our cancer risk. Vegans don't consume any exogenous estrogens from dairy, which again, lowers our cancer risk. Vegan blood is eight times less hospitable to cancer cells than those following a standard American diet. And the largest forward-looking study on diet and cancer ever conducted found the incidence of all cancers combined was lower among vegetarians. So, there you go, animal product. But did you hear that? The incidences was lower. It doesn't say it's impossible to get cancer as a vegan, as a vegetarian. It's, again, reducing risk doesn't mean eradicating the problem. Saying, well, if you, if you stopped eating meat, you wouldn't have cancer. No, the chances of getting cancer would have been reduced, but that doesn't in any way mean that it's his fault for getting cancer again. Anyone can get cancer at any time of their life with any form of diet, any form of activity, and any form of lifestyle. And to think changing his diet over the last, what has it been, about four months or something, would have somehow saved him from any chances of getting cancer again is a bullshit concept. It's greatly increased your cancer risk, and Furious Pete is a dumb, selfish cunt who continued to eat meat, dairy, and eggs even after he learned about all of this, and now it looks like he's going to die of cancer, and if you ask me, he's getting exactly what he deserved. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. That's so... so cringeworthy. It's actually painful to hear. Ah, uh, I'm going to hear it again, that if there's anything that makes you want to punch a vegan in the face, I think this quote has to be, has to be it. The dumb selfish cunt who continued to eat meat, dairy, and eggs even after he learned about all of this, and now it looks like he's going to die of cancer, and if you ask me, he's getting exactly what he deserved, and... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Ah. Uh. Oh. 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 oh my gosh. Oh. Just what an asshole. What? <laughs> I should I even bother watching the rest of this. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. You ever get that feeling whenever you like, whenever you jump into like a really cold bath or or like a, a freezing river or something like that? You get that kind of pain at the back of your head. And it just, oh, it's just like, oh, it's like a brain freeze. It's, yeah, it's like a brain freeze, a brain freeze of assholeism. Just, oh, that that hurt to think a I heard that and b this is a guy that's trying to promote his ideology by being that much of a cunt. Sorry for the use of that word. Oh, right, anyway. Refocus, let's see if we can, let's see if we can get to the end of this. A good thing for me and a few other people is you can't make fallacious copyright claims when you're dead. And for anyone who wants to watch... Oh, 
I wish I hadn't kept playing. Ah. Oh. my Furious Pete Worst of the Fitness Industry video. It's up on my Facebook page, so you can watch it there if you care to. And of course, I always encourage people to share and even upload my videos to their own channels. And I don't even care if you monetize it or not. I just want to spread the message out there. And I also left a link. What, what what message have you just have you just spread? I'm sorry, but my my brain has just become so numbed and so shocked by your inhumane comments to another human that I've completely forgotten what the hell your point is apart from, hey, look at how much of an asshole I am. Subscribe. I, what, what, was, what was your point in this? What was your point? I, I lost it. See, that's, that's something which I talked about before. Nudge theory. Giving positive reinforcement, telling people to keep on changing. Shock tactics don't work. They just make people think that you're an asshole. And, and uh, that you, you, you climbed that hill, and you jumped when you're at the top of that, of the asshole hill, so you could be higher than every other asshole. Bravo! <laughs> That's... As, oh, I'm sure more people are going to be doing this as well. In the description where you can download the full quality video, Furious Feet Worst of the Fitness Industry, and you can do anything you want with it. You can just watch it on your own computer. Uh, you can upload it to your own Facebook or YouTube page or wherever else you'd like to post it. And you don't have to worry about any fucking copyright, whether I'm alive or dead. So that's it for today. I hope it's been informative. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Uh, Mount Bicepies. Am I still subscribed to this guy? God, I am. Oh, I, I, I can't have that in my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you all had to watch that. Not all vegans are assholes. <laughs>